Hi everyone, uh, my name is Amy Posniak and I'll be your instructor this semester here at WITC and I'm an instructor located on the Superior campus but I teach in Flex Labs, online, your choice, you name it. Uh, this is my 16th year with the college, very excited to still continue to work. Um, with the various programs at WITC and a true fan and believer in the Wisconsin technical system. Um, today will just be a short introduction video into um, some of those systems for you that are new. Um, this might be a little review for some of our returning students. I'll use this video both fall and spring um, and just kind of use it as a guideline. As always, if you have questions, please contact me. Always happy to answer those via email or or however we need to, to make that work a short call. So a little bit about me. Um, busy mom with two girls that are going in sixth and ninth grade. Many activities. Um, my husband and I love to play volleyball and travel, so that's just a little bit about me. Um, the main center here that we're looking at today is the homepage for WITC. And for those of you that are new, I would just really encourage you to give yourself t some time and to not become frustrated with all the different systems that we're, we're probably going to throw at you. And um, we'll work through those. So I just ask that you give yourself at least four weeks and this will really start to feel okay. Um, and we'll get you into all those systems. Again, I'm very flexible, willing to do texts, a phone call, a blue jean session so we can see each other's screens, those different types of things. So again, um, the role of this video today is just to show you some systems, some software, and some tips and techniques. Now, um, once you start to get into the college, most of you will live and breathe in my campus, Blackboard, or my WITC. My campus will look like this, and it allows you to log into all the systems here at the college. Mine will look different than yours um, because I have more options, but there's great videos under Atomic Learning. So if you have a PowerPoint class with me and you're stumped, you're not finding anything on YouTube or or it's two o'clock in the morning, I remember doing homework at that time, you might be able to use that resource. Uh, this is where you'll get your Blackboard link. Um, this is where you'll find the Learning Commons, which is our academic support, our ETC, all the various places where you can get services. If you're having technical issues, like a password isn't working or something, you can go to my help. It's our internal help desk, and it's absolutely amazing. Now, the last three places that I'm going to show you here are my WITC, which will be your um, kind of link to what we used to call the portal. And this is where you can register for classes, look at your transcripts, check your grades at the end of the semester, and, and find out about your financial aid and, and all of those different things. Um, right here next to it, the orange square, this is how you'll access your email and do those various check-ins, get to um, online versions of the Microsoft Office if you want to do it that way and your OneDrive that's where you'll be saving documents and you can sync your OneDrive um, to your home computer so instead of carrying around a flash drive it's there but a flash drive is always a nice backup as well. Alright next we have Office 365 and for those of you that don't have it on your computers you can download it here free at the college and again the ETC um, the Educational Technology Center is located in or very close to all of the campuses learning resource centers aka the library they can help you and assist you with that alright so um, from there many of us then just dive right into Blackboard um, once you start getting into all the systems you're pretty much gonna live and breathe in the email and in your Blackboard I strongly encourage you to check your email every day that is the main communication for the college and um, it, that's where everything will be sent so make sure that you're you're looking at that this is the command center kind of page your dashboard your institution page um, of all the classes that you have now mine looks extremely different if there your instructors have put due dates on assignments they'll be out here um, announcements will be out here and all of these these various things now again for today um, because it's a demo uh, I'm gonna look at a template course and just get you introduced to that and um, follow through with a few more things before we leave here though up here at the top are these tabs um, and there's a a lot of great resources here. So if you're 
struggling with how to do something like submit an assignment, take a test, under the Getting Started tab, there's some videos that have been created at the college to show you how to do that. Avatars, that's what this lovely um, image is called up here in the top corner. And um, I have a picture of me up there because some of you I will never meet in person. You're in an online class or you're taking a My Choice class where you may do everything online. So by having an avatar out there, um, it's very helpful so I can get a sense of who you are and, and put a, a face with that name. So if you're curious on how to do that, there's a how to add your avatar video as well. There'll be some notifications up here. You can see I have 500 plus. I'm not a huge fan of notifications, um, but if you want to play with those, you can play with those as well. I'm going to come back to my institution. And again, all my classes are listed here. You can personalize your page. You can do whatever you'd like. Uh, I'm going to come down here to Posniac Template. And I promise you won't have that many classes. <laughs> um, because I'm an instructor, I have to put it into Student View. So I'm going to do that now. And this should look more like what you will see. Um, when you come into my classes. So with that being said, um, I always open classes at 8 a.m. on the first day of classes. So for fall, it's going to be August 26th, and in the spring, it'll be sometime in January. I don't know the exact date. The announcements, you can expect in the announcements area to contain information from me that you may want to take a look at with regards to a video or the video I'm creating here today um, with some helpful information and some tips and tricks. I try to post an announcement once a week to just keep you directed and on course with your courses. All right, so that's what those announcements will look like. Uh, the next area will be your course information area. And both of these items will be open once I transfer these over um, and copy them into all of my classes, but the syllabi and schedule might not be there right away. So you can go out there and, and click on any of these where you get the finger here and you'll see more links and items that will be helpful for you in, in the course. Um, once the syllabus is out there in the completion schedule, I would definitely complete the completion schedule and I would definitely review the syllabus. All right, so I'm just going to pull over a class here that I had in the spring called document formatting, just so you can get a sense of, of what that looks like. Oops, excuse me. This is my document formatting class, or excuse me, desktop publishing class, and the syllabus and schedules were all up here. So that's where you can, can look at those items for when things are due and of, of that nature. And so you'll be able to see those those items. Again, once you start to get into this, uh, you'll feel pretty comfortable and most everything for my courses will be handled in course assignments. All right. Some great resources up here. I try to make sure that the course assignments area is not too overwhelming, but I also want to make sure that you have all the information that you need. So you'll click into these various folders and just go ahead and work on, on that work. Okay. Now I'm going to take off the student view in this course just so you can see it a little bit better. And coming back into course assignments, the reason you can see all the assignments is because there's due dates on them. Um, and if the due date is passed, you can no longer see that. All of my assignments will have due dates on them, and they're due at 11.30 p.m. that evening. Once the due date hits, on your side, you won't even see it. It will be gone. All right. So if we were going to work in my desktop publishing class in Publisher, you would click on that link again, read some of the instructions here, and start to dive in into these assignments.